Oh my gosh. The bed worked. How oh, cool. Should have a damaged ship then. And good morning, all my. Well, I got damages in my ship. Good morning, shipwreck. How you doing? Good morning. Morning. I just logged in, and the bed worked. <laughs> so that was that was cool. Uh, I had to see where I was. I've slept since last night, so I didn't know for sure where I was. All right, well, cool. Uh, I left off yesterday. I sure did. <laughs> yeah, th thank you. I sure did. I have no idea when they're supposed to get released, but I have one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that that was that was fun. And that's. I I like other I I watch other streamers because I like them you know but winning winning a a thing like that is always fun. Thirty percent, thirty six percent QT. I tried to repair yesterday, but it wouldn't let me. So um. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do a couple. Uh, as what I looked at is I wanted to buy some scorpions and try some scorpions. I, I'm not real good with the Gatling type guns. So I don't know that it'll help me any or hurt me, but... Why isn't it sitting around? Hey, M Keeper, good morning, good morning. Trying to figure out why it won't let me go from there to there. Oh, I'm already there, never mind. That's why it won't let me. Well, here I am, I'm only 300 meters away, that's why. Yeah, apparently they, yeah, yeah, I just put up a curtain. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. That, that was really cool. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. It was kind of surprising, actually, because... <laughs> Let's see, I swapped that. Uh, I have a, the, the, the bots on, on uh, Nerd Show and Tell Show. That other bot, I don't think it could spell my name because I, I haven't been picked like for the week, you know, the daily thing. I've, I don't even think my name's come up in three weeks. It's, uh, you know, it was, it was funny because he said something, I guess I need to haul ass. He said, uh, you know, he said something about it was a different bot. And I was like, yeah, maybe that one knows my name. And sure enough, it did. <laughs> the cargo variant, the CR, I guess.
I wanted to get the racer. It's because it's pretty as hell, but. But the cargo one seems like it might have a use. Plus, it, it, if you look at the the backpacks, it may be a use to the to the the, the uh, cargo variant. Yeah, and I'm hoping that the vest actually has a use too, because you know it shows like a cargo vest that comes with it. So that might be cool. course honestly I'm not sure I, eventually I may end up having to trade it in I, I mean my theory is is you know I can't afford a lot of ships so my theory is is try and get big ships before the game releases because the little ones w would be easier to to obtain in game right but I have a long time before that's really an issue yeah, exactly. If I if I do trade it, I'm gonna keep the LTI, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. I'm not in a hurry though. I'm I'm gonna wait and see see if they. I'd like to, you know. I'd like. In other words, I don't really want to sell it until until it's available in game. The uh, cargo, the CR version, cargo variant. Right, right, yeah, and, and that's why, because I'm hoping the vest and or the bike actually has, right, so I'm hoping, yeah, yeah, I've seen the pictures, so I'm hoping that that because they have the uh, cargo, they might be actually a useful vehicle, I'm not sure that'll, that'll pan out, but. Yeah, I saw the pictures. It may be. I I hope not, cause. But it may be. Uh, there's no. That's what I say. I I don't know if that'll pan out or not. It, it may, you know, maybe purely cosmetic to go with the bike, you know, which is fine. Yeah, you know, I, I hate to say it, if they put that in game before the game releases. Uh, Valkyrie. And, you know, if it's not, looks like it, then, I, then ideally I'd love to have that upgraded to either a Cuddy or even a, a Corsair would be, with, with LTI would be the ultimate, but... That I I think so because they, they did the flight model and they changed the the uh, ground vehicles already. So so it you know it, it's likely all the groundwork is already set up. I I wouldn't be surprised if we see that in three six, but you know I'm just guessing. Who knows? But. But yeah, I, I would think it's going to be fairly fast as well. You know, they just they just announced it, but that undoubtedly they've been working on it already, right? So, you know, it's not like a brand new concept. It's it's something they've probably already had in the in the books for some time just haven't announced it. Yeah, yeah, they sure they certainly could. I mean, size isn't necessarily. It's still got to have all the all the same mechanics, but 
but all the same mechanics was already there so like you say at that point size does matter you know now it's right it, it, it now it's it's the the artwork and the you know the what do you call it the uh hit boxes or uh uh you know uh not hit boxes but the where you walk on whatever you call those you know the area stuff so yeah yeah, it, it's it, it's all a lot smaller, but it's probably a lot of pieces. Yeah, my trade, I'm a carpenter, and a small desk doesn't necessarily mean less work. It's just as many pieces as a big desk, but, you know, they're just smaller pieces. And it may be a little bit of that. Actually, I need to... But it, I'm sure it will be less, because I think I, I, I'm like you. I think a lot of the groundwork the the pieces can be imported from say the hoover or the ground vehicles they already have so a lot of that a lot of the pieces can be prefabbed or you know to put it in my carpentry terms can be prefabbed i'm not sure i might ought to just destroy this ship i'm I've, uh yeah i've got enough i need about 40k to buy those weapons i went there last night because the paper I had uh, showed them at, at 4,000 something per each. Yeah, I hate to do this. I th I'm going to just... Actually, yeah, you can cancel it. I guess I can just go land. Do the RPG a little bit. You know, so so with luck, a lot of the the pre a lot of the the components that they need to create it are already in game on other vehicles, which means it would be a lot quicker. So yeah, that, that's why I agree with you. They may have it in real fast. But I'm I'm wanting what I want to see is 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 not only see it in game, but I want to be able to see it uh, available for in-game purchase. At which point, then then yeah, then I'll feel feel comfortable or more comfortable. I mean, I'd trade it off anyway, but I'd feel a lot more comfortable, you know, trading it up if I can replace it in game. For, for reasonable cost, you know, which I think it'll be. I don't think it'll be that expensive if you look at the other ground vehicles. I mean, I looked at it. I, I looked at it. I even thought about it because I have a, a standalone uh, Titan right now that I could trade in, and then I could use that uh, LTI and upgrade that uh, but right now I could go to like a 315p the origin 315 and that'd be a nice ship that's a nice upgrade from the Titan I have now plus it'd go to LTI but I'm like eh, I don't you know I don't really need it I got a, you know I got the Titan so I, uh, 3, 315 325 would be cool but But I kind of want to wait and see if that, see when and if that uh, motorcycle goes in game. I have a feeling they're not going to put it in game right off. You know, they want people to buy it from the store, and if it's available in game for cheap enough that people would just buy it each each wipe, then then they won't sell as many. So I expect it'll go in game real quick, as far as playable a playable ship, but when it'll come available for in-game purchase probably won't come oh no problem i was just talking about uh, I, I was just talking about you know i i expect you're right that that it'll get in-game playable pretty quick but i'm not sure it'll the the rangers 
but I'm not sure if they'll be available for in-game purchase for a while because you know that that might put a damper on their store sales you know if people can buy it for cheap in game you know cheap enough that that they'd buy one in between patches then then they might not buy, buy them on the store so i expect it'll get in game but not in game purchasable at least for a, you know a month or so till you know after it's after it's in game so they could hope to sell a few more which i don't blame them I'm going to grab some coffee real quick. Be right back. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just guessing, obviously, but it just, you know, that's what I would do. You know, I, you know, they, they, that's how they're making their money, so they need that, you know. And, and like I say, it's kind of like the, the buggies. I, I, I don't, I'm betting they're not selling many buggies on the store anymore. <laughs> well, I don't think you can even get them on the store anymore, but. <coughs> But, you know, with them in-game for 5K credits, that kind of removes any reason to buy them on the store. <laughs> you know, it just, you just don't need to spend it, so people won't. So, yeah, I, I you know, rightfully, if they, if they want to make, make the, the funding, you know, then, then they probably won't put it in in-game sales for a while. I didn't even know there was a difference in the price. I I didn't see. I couldn't actually. I I didn't actually look up the 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 pictures, and I still can't get to the. Yeah, I I guess I should have looked at the pictures better. I you know, by the when I wanted, I hadn't even seen the prices. Cause uh, I can't get to that website yet, right? And 35 for the for the combat, yeah. Well, if I'd have known that, I might would have picked the one. But. Yeah, I might would have picked that one just for the five dollar extra, but. Yeah, I've seen since since I wanted, I've seen them, you know, all the all the pictures, but I hadn't looked at. I didn't realize there was a price difference. I didn't really check the. I just saw the first one or two. Saw, you know, thought they were all the same. So that that's kind of a mistake, I guess. Oh well. Can't read it, but yeah, it's only five dollars. Uh, it's kind of like don't look at gift horse in the mouth, right? <laughs> yeah, no problem. I I don't I don't have any of that uh, restricted. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't really, you know, the I didn't, actually, the, the cargo vest is the ugliest, and I kind of hoped it, you know, it has some legitimate, you know, use, but I'm, I, I don't know that it will, obviously, it's probably just cosmetic, but if it is, and I got the wrong wrong vest yeah it'd be nice if, you know if it gave you like extra 
it, it'd be nice if it gave you like extra uh, pictures. Well, uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to take them and copy them to my Discord. Oh, I can do that after the show. I usually don't have enough. Uh, yeah, my chatbot saves it. I just got to remember to pull them off of uh, chat there, because once I shut down the chat bot, they go away. Renegades cut. Yeah, I get post any of those you want, because like like I say, I I can. I'll I'll, I'll pull them up and and repost them. Yeah, I don't normally have enough, uh, where am I, right there, you know, enough people to worry about, uh, you know, filtering all that stuff yet, so. That's the one I didn't see, was it? Yeah, I didn't realize that the t the TR was 35. I sure didn't. Oh, that's that's perfect. I like I say, I'll I'll have to I'll have to uh move that to Discord or something before I shut my chatbot down or I'll lose the links. I'll copy all those to my Discord so they stay. the game I never had any any well I did too I, I bought it with the intention of putting a little bit into it here and there you know every month and month or two adding a little bit which I've done I mean I've put a little bit in but yeah I wasn't really planning on um, investing tons in the game before it came out but At this point, I, I play it enough, and I enjoy it enough, you know, that that I don't mind putting a little bit in, in it here and there at all. That That's not a... No, that's true. There it is. Oops, wrong buttons. Ah. That's damn. No wonder. Oh man, I don't know how many times that cruise stuff's tried to kill me. <laughs> I was like, why? What the hell? <laughs> slow down, slow down. Oh shit. Yeah, I've tried, and the only way. I can land in here without going into third person 
It's tough. Yeah, that's me. I'm always broke, so. Tight fit in these hangers with this shit. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Let's see if I can repair. Yes, cool. Here's the one I don't know. You gotta wait on the fuel. Yeah, they're cool. And for me, I'm like you, the, the, the LTI is, is, to me, is worth more than, than, than any of the other stuff. I guess, I'm, I'm not sure what good the, you know, I'm sure it's, it's going to be a benefit, but I'm, I'm not sure how much yet, you know, so we'll see, but yeah, that's kind of what I was, I, I was, a little bit excited after after I won it is like wow you know for well it's only a thirty dollar deal but wait a minute <laughs> it's a war bond you know purchase so it's LTI oh wow they sucked it up the second I got out sure hope it got repaired <laughs> yeah yeah if I had the money I, I'd buy two a couple of them I mean, I don't, I don't have huge expectations on a fleet. I mean, right now I have the Freelancer that I, I wouldn't mind making a Durr unless, just depending. I mean, if I end up, you know, between now and then coming up, whoa, what the heck? That's different. I wouldn't mind having a, a Valkyrie, but that's really the biggest ship on my wish list. You know, ideally I could see, you know, the only ones I'd really want or need, have need of, would be uh, Cuddy, say, say upgrade my Freelancer to a Max if I had a Corsair. <laughs> And the Cor uh, so the Corsair, Freelancer Max, and a Cuddy would be like all the ships I'd need. I kind of wanted to go to a Dur, but that's stored, so that's all right. But that's you know that's not taking into account if I ha have a a Corsair, then I don't need a Dur. So. So at that point, the freelancer might might become a max. But that's for me. I'm talking well in the future. You know, I'll I'll, I'll add you know ten twenty bucks a month here and there. And about to have a heart attack.
and hopefully build up to something along that line, but we'll see. Ah. I might could have made it, but I fell over dead when I got there. Two minutes. Yeah. But yeah, I, I love the, I, I like the Corsair. I mean, I, I'd rather have a Carrick, but for the price, I like the Corsair. <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> by choice, not by wish. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I could say the, uh, let me, uh, I guess if I, I could say, uh, I, you know, the the Carrick would be my dream ship, I guess, but I'm not sure it wouldn't be too big. I don't, you know, I, I want something that can be used reasonably effective, you know, solo, and I think the Carrick is, is getting beyond that. Maybe not, but I mean, it just seems like it's pretty big for a solo player. So yeah, the Corsair would be the largest ship I would, I would think I'd, I'd really want, which would be great to have that LTI, right? And then my most expensive ship would have LTI, so the one that would likely cost the most insurance would be LTI. But I want, I'm hoping they get it in game pretty soon because I don't want to trade it at least till after I get to try and ride it. <laughs> I, I want to see it before I trade it off. <laughs> Going to center mass. It's the only place they sell most of the ship weapons anymore. I'm curious in the future. I'm hoping that uh, different weapons and specifically weapons and, and ships I mean you should have places like New Deal or uh, or uh, teaches that sell a small mixture of ships too but you know if you want a specific Drake ship or whatever you ought to have to go to a Drake factory or a Drake you know Drake Stand dealer So, you know, with luck, the way, you know, my kind of hope on that whole deal is, is that they actually have them separate, like have, uh, you know, Drake dealers on this planet or that planet, and you got to fly there and get them if you want more than what you can find, the common ones. But I don't know. I mean, that that way, that way we would have to have more solar systems and, and planets for that to work. So right now it's pretty cool.
having that heat issue I've had before. Sometimes my heat won't go down no matter, you know, I, in other words, it goes up because I'm wearing uh, some heavy armor and heavy weapons, but then, then it, you know, it should stop when, you know, stop going up, stop raising when you stop moving, but sometimes it doesn't do that, or it wasn't last patch. <laughs> Hopefully they got it fixed. Quit running, I guess. Quit being in a hurry. Sure seem to be. Did that not work? Why did that not work? There it goes. Pretty damn good in our corp. There we go. Hey. That's not good. Great FPS considering there's nothing there to. <laughs> huh. Oh, that's different. Usually, it, usually they spawn in if you let them close and open. There we go. Yeah, this may be a waste of 40k. I may not like the guns. That's something I should do in like PTU, but... Kid in a candy store. Looking for Scorpion GT something. There it is. Uh, yeah, they, the paper I said 40 said they were only 47 something, so I thought I had enough <laughs> showed up, and the price was different. I couldn't buy them. Well, that doesn't look like one, does it? <laughs> that doesn't look right. Oh, I guess it is. I wonder if I can put them on my ship. Without reclaiming it. I'm kind of hopeful that these uh, Gatling kind of guns will... Uh, 
help me with the buccaneers. They're the ones I have the most trouble with right now. Ah, it's read only. That's more like it. I didn't. I was wondering. 50, 60 FPS here is kind of. Expecting a lot from my moderate PC. Weird the way it just vibrates the signs. where I have problems is getting my ship back out last night I literally had to uh, change servers to get my ship to spawn right kept kept spawning in the wrong place I thought maybe I'm um, Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, but at least it's going down when you stop. I had a bug, I guess, last week before that last patch, and you could just stop but your heart rate would continue to climb rather than reduce. And I literally died at, at several times, like at a console or uh, died once at a console. And a couple of times I died uh, just standing here like this. I'd get up, go get coffee or whatever and not be paying attention. Come back, be dead. <laughs> I, what I die of? And I'd literally have to look in the, the replay and like, well, why, how, why is my heat, you know, my heart rate going up standing still? <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, I could. Yeah. yeah. I guess I ought to build a minute. I don't care about Chad or any of that. Now I don't have to worry about the heart rate for a bit. But I don't think the hangers have, uh, you got to put it back on before you go in the hangers. Strong winds.
think it's gonna go the other way. Oh, maybe not. Stand clear. Doors are now closing. Penguin, another penguin. Didn't know it was a nature show, did you? Our coffee's got a hole in it. Okay, so how are you supposed to equip it? So how the hell are you supposed to equip weapons? I'm missing something here. Oh, okay, now it doesn't say locked. Before it said read only. Huh. So those shit, those weapons I bought won't fit on these? Well, what the heck? Ain't that, uh, that was a waste. Well, you can't put a size 2 on a size 3? Guess not. Wonder what those come off of. Laser repeaters. I'd rather have a ballistic gatling. There's one. That's on something, but nothing I use. I don't know what the heck I use it for. That's weird. You'd think you'd be able to use it. Let's try those guys. I don't even know what those are or what they came off of. I'm 
not sure what, but I guess that. Let's see if that's that's what I'm looking for. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Oh. Hang on, nine. this this is deja vuish. Warning, you are blocking an active flight lane. Please yep. locate the vicinity. Yeah, I'm screwed. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. <sighs> At all times, your job is your safety. Gotta wait for it to store it before I can respawn it. It'll be in the wrong hangar. Yesterday, I literally had to log out and log into a Australian server to get out of out of Lorville or Area 18. Thank you for visiting our Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. There it goes. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. I love that. It doesn't tell me. There we go. Hangar 9. Same one. That's the wrong hangar. Bet money on Morning. it. You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. Ah, it sucks. Alright. Well. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Sorry about this, guys. Got no choice. Somebody has joined the party. Alright, EM Keeper, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm just goofing off. At you as well. As well, I'll probably hear from you or see you in other places. I don't see. I'm normally streaming during the day. I don't stream on the weekends much. If I do, it's just odd times. <laughs> Try to stream early. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run and get to uh, get some more coffee. But yeah, appreciate it. Have a nice day as well. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Be right back.
Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, Giga. I'm dying because there's no air in the halves, and I don't have armor on. As far as I know, I'm I'm screwed. I don't know how to get past this. I mean, what am I in an endless loop? And I mean, this is game breaking. Yeah, this is game breaking. I may have to. I may not be able to play until I can get my account reset. Yeah, I, I can't even get up and get to my inventory to fuck me. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's, this is game breaking. I don't know what to do. The stream's over. As far as I can tell, I'm done. I can't get out unless I, I mean, I, I don't know what to do. I guess is what I need to do is hit record. As far as I, I, I remember this bug, as far as I know, none of the Habs have air. But you may be right, so I guess I'll, I'll exit completely. Hell, I was going to, I mean, this is kind of a, I was having to go to a different server. That's how I got out of Area 18. I went, logged into uh, an Aussie server. Because if for some reason the U.S. servers are borked, it keeps spawning it in the wrong place. And now this, this is game breaking. I, I, the stream may be over here if I can't. I mean, if I get another, you know, three halves in a row, I, you know, spend two hours trying to find a, a hab with air in it. That's that's not reasonable. I mean, that's this is game breaking. I'm gonna have to get them to reset it. I have no idea how long that'll take. I've never had to do that. I know you can do it. I know somebody's that's uh, done it, and it took him two days. But he was a VIP, and I think they get, like, priority with that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is kind of a bad, I mean, this isn't just a bug, this is a game breaker. Deal breaker, I can't, I'm not going to be able to play until this gets straight, as far as I know. I mean, I hope, maybe you're right, I'll swap servers and at least if I can get out of that hab <laughs> or get get to my inventory, I can put the armor on. I'm, I'm, that's, this is an odd one. I'm, I, I don't know what to do. wonder how many people over the free fly had that uh, issue. I mean, that's a game breaker. If you go in, go buy some clothes, figure out how to, how to equip some clothes, and log out, come back in, and can't get out of bed. <laughs> I mean, that's not a very good uh, first impression. I even thought about it, but I thought surely they fixed that because that issue, this was an issue like early PTU. I remember it, you know, coming up. It was on the issue council and all that. In fact, if I, I bet if I go through the patches, I bet there's, I bet there's some notes where this is supposed to be fixed. Seems seems like I remember reading it. But yeah, maybe tried. That. That's why I wanted to go all the way back to the launcher. Maybe it's just. Hmm. 
Come on, baby. I don't want to be stuck without being able to play for however long. <laughs> Apparently, you can't access your Moby Glass while you're laying down, and that wake up animation is too long to, you know, I'm dying before I get out of bed. I'm going to record. If it does it again, I'll have a short recorded clip to send to the issue council. The other one I want to clip is that uh, spawning the ship in the wrong hat, in the wrong hangar, or, and or doing like that. They, they're, you know, I think it's because they're putting it in the wrong hangar, it gets sucked right back up because you're blocking a landing pad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not blocking the landing pad. You're the idiot that put it there. <laughs> Those little sound sound notices are <laughs> get me. <laughs> you are blocking a landing pad. I'm like, no, I'm not. You're the idiot that put it there. Tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I guess I can. Stop that recording. I thought I was on this load. Yeah, I was on the Aussie server, so I'll go back to the US server or go back to best. <coughs> oh, yeah, I thought they had fixed that with no, no air in the hangar in the tabs. I do remember that being an issue. Come on, load up. Get get some video of this. Without having to download the whole stream. I had to do that on the last one. <laughs> Okay, I don't sound like I'm, uh, I'm not dying, so maybe it was a server thing on the, the delay. Let me get out of here. I'm not suffocating. Get out of here. Yay. Okay, well, let's go back and see if I can get my ship. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Is that not the right one? There we go. Thanks. <laughs> I managed, for some reason it worked that time. I didn't, uh, I wasn't suffocating. So they have fixed it. I was just a little bugged on that server or something. That's cool. Apparently the elevator hurt me.
Not a pop in considering that. Oh, I guess it's a fresh load since I went all the way to the thing. So always takes a minute on a fresh load. I guess I can run since I don't have any armor on. I'm putting armor on before I log out of waiting. If it doesn't spawn my ship or whatever and I try to change servers, I'm going to equip my armor. <laughs> Even even if I just unequip it to run around, that's Yeah, it's doing like a fresh load in um Sounds cutting in and out. That'll take several minutes and that should clear up. <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> really was. I'm like, man, I don't want to have to not be able to play. I see it taking a week to get my account reset. Glad that worked. <laughs> Alright, Giga. I, yeah, I think it was just a server. I was on a Aussie server there. I think it was just, yeah, server sync or whatever wasn't happening fast enough. So, yeah, it wasn't filling with air quick enough or whatever. Changing servers seem to have fixed it. So. Stand clear. Doors are now closing. some glitch avoided or overcome <laughs> so whatever it was it's it's done deal now so we're all good now if we, if we were really lucky I'll get my ship out if not this is one I've been meaning to record and uh, take a submit a ticket on hopefully it'll work but I've had trouble every time with especially with the freelancers sometime I can you know getting out of out of area 18 has been an issue for me same with Lorville spawn my freelancer in the wrong hangar and such and half the time I could spawn the Titan and it'll put it in the right one. I think just because it's a different ship, right? But, and then other times it doesn't, so.
I thought that was fixed too, though. Fuck me. I should have put my armor on the moment I could. Fuck. I hope it works. <laughs> Back to bed, I guess. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we're trying to boy, what's with the weird view? No key movement. Well, it's beginning to become nonsense. That's why I don't like going to our court or Lowerville. Lowerville can be just as bad for me. Hope we don't suffocate. <laughs> Hope we don't suffocate. I always worry or wonder if, if it's because I have a hard drive, but I mean, that should make it take, you know, the, like the pop in, things like that. That might be, you know, worsened from, from running on a hard drive, but yeah, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be game breaking. They recommend it, but they don't require it. So. I still want to get a, SSD, but I'm reasonably certain that that would at least reduce my issues. It, I usually I don't have any issues in, unless I'm trying to get out of Lorville or Harcourt. That's the first time I've had an issue with the no air in the hab, leg breaking and death. That's just that's a bug. They, they've had some. Some things I should I shouldn't break my leg just walking around, especially with no armor on.
Something screwed right there, I can tell you just from the view. Why am I looking like that? Well, at least I got up, so let's put on armor before I even get out, because I'm not suffocating. And I don't know what I'm going to do about the view. Armor doesn't fix it, I'm not sure what, what to do about that. I didn't exactly exit with the Moby Glass. I died with the Moby Glass because I couldn't put armor on. <laughs> but okay, that'll work. If that's what it is, then yeah, I can, I can close my Moby and restart, maybe. So my Moby is definitely not open now, so... I guess I'll go all the way out. <sighs> well. That's, another, that's one I haven't seen. That's, so yeah, that's like two bugs in a row I haven't seen. One bug that I have seen. All three of them have kept me from doing anything for close to an hour now. Yeah, I've heard about that when I've seen it on the uh, patch notes. It's another one that's supposed to be fixed. <laughs> I know because I've seen it on the patch notes. <laughs> well, maybe that that one might have been in the known known bug issue. So yeah, I didn't pay much attention to that one because I hadn't seen it before. Our drive's getting a workout this morning, loading up so much. Okay, well, as good a time as any to grab some more coffee, I guess. Unfortunately, bu bugs and aren't very good con content when, <laughs> when all you're doing is loading and reloading here. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get out of this place this time. This is why I normally park on at PO and just fly over to the Hurston area when I want to do missions because that's where I do my missions, but they're just too hard for me to get in and out of. And I don't mean the train rides. <laughs> you know, I don't I wouldn't mind the time getting in and out of them just the glitches on the on, mostly it's it's the hangers putting my ship in the wrong hangar and does the same thing at Lawyerville throws it in the wrong hangar and then you have to play elevator ele elevator shuffle to, <laughs> to find it if you're lucky, here they just suck it up too fast to even do that. All right, let's see if I can see. Okay, well, the the one that would have been really worrisome or game breaking is past. Now, if I can just get out of here without having a heart attack or a broken leg, what was that? <laughs> Somebody just yelled at me. I didn't hear that door at all. Uh, it's probably just loading and lo unloading so much. Got got my p PC all worked up. Normally I wouldn't worry about my heart rate so bad, but 
I want to make it out this time. The server's running right. I can I can walk continuously and it'll it'll top out at 150 in this setup, but the server's not working right. Who knows? One fifty ish, one fifty, one fifty five. What is that? Stand clear. Doors are now closing. <laughs> Trap. <laughs> hey Antonio, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm stuck in Lorville. I think every every old bug that's supposed to be fixed I've had. So far, I've had to relog because I kept waking up in the in the habitat with no air, no O2, and I had taken off my uh, armor. So I so I was in a endless loop of waking up and dying. Changing changing servers seemed to or relogging and and or changing servers to fix that. And I broke my leg. And of course, I also had the let's spawn your ship in the wrong place and then suck it up before you can get there issue as well. So I've had like every issue you have at Lorville or at Arcor up here. Seems to have been mine. I'm just trying to get out of this mouse trap, man. <laughs> it's all I'm trying. All I want. All I want for Christmas. And out. Oh <laughs> six. Well, that's completely different. So that usually it's O nine or O one when it goes to the wrong hang. So may, maybe we're good. Maybe I got lucky. Warning: You are blocking nope. an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna get a clip of this to sub submit. So. This is the second time I've been having this problem. Wait on that freelancer to despawn so I can. Uh...
Come on, they spawn. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your. Uh, you you'll never make it. It's in the wrong pad. That's why they're, the it, the reason it's getting sucked up is because they spawned it in the wrong pad and it's blocking a a runway. Even if you make it to the pad, they tell you it's the wrong one. Uh oh. Okay. I wanna uh, let me let me start the recording. Alright. Alright. Yeah. I, 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 uh, yeah. But the, the bikes and the ground vehicles don't show on these. You got to go to one of the pads that allows you to spawn the bikes. Uh, it's it's not in game yet. I. Yeah. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Sure has. You're lying to me. Hangar 6. Alright. Yeah, I've done this too many times. Even if you make it to the hangar, it's the wrong one. That's the whole re reason they're sucking it. Now watch it. Yeah, there we go. Please vacate the vicinity. There it goes. I'm pretty sure the reason they're sucking it up is because it's not in the right hangar. But yeah, you'll never make it. I've, I've tried too many times. You have it? I have it every time. And it's completely... Now, now it'll, it'll despawn. If I got in the elevator, it'd despawn about the time I got, I got to the bottom floor. But... I, I have made it into the mostly the freelancer yeah it, it can happen with any of them my titan but primarily the free, ship storage freelancer for your safety please vacate the area thank you for your cooperation I'm at about 50 percent of the time the, the yeah there it went about 50 percent of the time I can I can get out of this by spawning the the titan and it'll go to the right place But yeah, it's a complete. Let's do it one more time Your for the video. To the following landing pad. So counting the other two, I've already done it earlier. Plus the two I did before I relogged. Yeah, this this has been repetitive for six or seven spawns so far this morning. But yeah, I'll run and see if I can get down there. It'll it, it won't be in hangar six. You are blocking an active flight lane. And Please vacate the facility. I've done it enough to where I got down to the bottom of the elevator and the ele ah, I'm not gonna get there this time. And the elevator open and the ship was still somewhere, but it wasn't that hangar. So I I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. I, I think they're putting it in the wrong hangar and that's why they're sucking it up to start with. We make it to the bottom it should be in the hangar right but they're gonna draw it up before it gets put in there probably if we get to the bottom and it's still less or more than what 40 50 meters away then it's obviously in a different hangar that's how i know it's ship storage procedure. yeah For your safety please vacate the yeah see it's still 480 meters away they haven't drawn it up yet here's the hangar it's supposed to be there it goes so yeah yeah, it's not the right hangar, so getting there is not an option. Yeah, getting to the to the right hangar is not an option if you don't know what hangar it is. Exactly. That's why I'm, I'm basing out of PO and just flying back and forth every you know every morning because missions I like are in Hurston, Arcorp area. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I can stop that recording there. That, that was two tries. Now, I, I made it out. Well, we can try it. Let me try it with the... Uh, let me try it with my Titan.
Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Uh, it's definitely in a different spot than it was spawning the freelancer. Yeah, about 50% of the time, this will fix it. The other 50% of the time, I can fix it by going to a different uh, region. Then it'll work. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. It's, it's primarily the freelancer. It does it every time. This one will do it one out of ten times, maybe. I mean, most of the time it works, but not always. Problem is, I, you know, this one takes 12 minutes to go across the map. You know, I don't want to fly this one. This, this is the one time I need the freelancer. I mean, you know. So it's it's kind of a bad deal. The one the one time I need the freelancer is the one time it's, it's not working. Oh well. But I got out, so that's good. I made my escape. Uh oh. Wait, is this a uh, hangar door? It is. What's with the shake? There we go. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a good deal. I don't, uh, you know, I can, I guess I, you know, I could always stop at a thing, but. Then I got to then I got to claim my ship and wait on it cuz I bet it's you know I don't know I guess I could stop and swap out at a uh, rest area but I'm not sure the time it takes to stop and swap ships you know you're only gaining 4 minutes so you know it takes you 4 or 5 to stop land and reclaim your ship I think you're it's it's kind of a moot point of course you gotta play heat computer and adjust not make silly adjustments to keep it from overheating because <laughs> the freelancer will do it without that you know it'll make it without overheating Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna have to do because I'm not. I mean, like I say, it's at the moot point. I believe the time I stopped and got my other ship, you know, I'd spend as much time as it'll take me extra getting there in this one. So yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. not letting me go so I must be on the wrong side and too far away too many whatever it's let's see where am I come on what the fuck it's showing me off the map
that took me to a different to a different outer marker. Apparently this one wasn't good enough. I would start, I just soon get there, make sure I get there before I, uh, Okay, where's my next marker? There we go. There's the one we needed. That should get us to Fort Ollie. <laughs> well, two hours I've managed to do one mission, buy some guns. Well, that's, that's actually not too bad. It's not not as bad as I it seemed like it was. The rat, the mouse trap didn't keep me hung up for too long. But yeah, I agree. It's it's something to do with the freelancer, and you know, like you're saying, you don't have any problem. And like this one does it every now and again, but it may be because of the freelancers doing it, right? I mean, you know, I don't know what the freelancers doing, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just weird. It's alpha. <laughs> Alpha weird. <laughs> buy some uh or I didn't but well I bought some but they weren't the right ones I guess I can't use those uh scorpions that I saw uh well nerd show and tell that he uses I, I well, hell I want to try those on my uh uh you know I want to try those on my uh, uh freelancer you know so I went and bought some Well, the, yeah, the Gatling guns, yeah. So that's what. So I went and bought some, <laughs> and I guess you can't put size two guns on a size three mount. You know, I I always well, I know you can. I know you can, cause I know. Uh, uh, this ship right here, as a matter of fact has has size three guns on has size two guns on a size three so i don't understand that as a matter of fact that's yeah hell that's i i know you can okay well it's got a size two gun in the very puck size three mount so that that's why Okay, well, that, that's what it is. Huh. So, yeah, I guess I could put all scorpions on this thing and have three, three, uh, three of them. But I just thought, you know, in other words, I, I just kind of figured, well, you can put smaller guns on on a size three. You know, in other words, you'd think a size three mount would hold a one, two, or a three, but apparently not. <laughs> Oops, my bad. There goes forty grand. 
easy come, easy go, right? <laughs> so that's why you test shit like that in the PTU. <laughs> I guess I can put them all on this so I have all three, you know, all same, 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 oh, same, oh, and, and try it with three guns. I'm kind of, I was kind of trying, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to, how to kill those darn, uh, uh, buccaneers easier. I mean, with those slow guns, it's hard to hit those, or, you know, slow slow refire and all with big cannons it's hard to hit those little buccaneers they, they move too fast <laughs> you know I was watching but most of them I've tried don't do any do diddly for damage you know they just don't seem to do enough and you know but watching a nerd yesterday man he was knocking out big ships with them and connie's and you know so on he could take out with four of them and i was like well hell i'd like to put to try those on my uh freelancer you know it's got four guns you know if i can take out a connie with it and it's better on the small ships like the buccaneer and uh, cutlass, then yeah, I I would go to the gats for a while, for now. But you know the I've tried well, like the uh, whatever comes on the uh, cutlass, because I tried the cutlass, and it's got I don't know if they're Gatlins, but it's got a real fast you know a repeater weapon on it but I couldn't do shit with that thing and they just didn't seem to do enough damage so I thought I'd try those that he he keeps using you know he's been kind of bragging about them for a few days since since you know well since the uh, fixed targeting got screwed So yeah, that's kind of. I was just gonna try them, bought them, and can't even put them on the on the ship I wanted to try them on. <laughs> just my luck. And it's taken me the equivalent of one full, maybe two full play sessions just to land and buy them <laughs> and get out of there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really hate basing out of out of Port Allister, though. I mean, they, you know, this is kind of they. I wish that was fixed because it really sucks. I'd I'd rather. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I'd like to be back in uh, Lorville. That's where I used to base out of, but it won't launch my freelancer. And that's the ship I I want. So, I mean, it will, but it's like that. I can end up having to go through an ordeal and you know a lot of times when I play in the evenings I've only got an hour or two to play you know during the day I, I can I can play for a long time but you know in the evenings I just don't you know I may only have 20 30 minutes when I just go in there and check something and yeah I, I don't want to spend a You know that kind of effort just to get off the planet on to to check something on my HOTUS or something some some setting. But I hate it over here just because it's you know it's it's where all the PVPers go to to grieve or whatever. 
I made a report yesterday. A fellow was uh, running around in a Valkyrie just pad ramming everything that was uh, spawned. He literally had Crusader basically locked down. You couldn't, you couldn't leave. He destroyed two of mine. And I noticed, I mean, literally, I was like, wow, you know, because I, boom. And a minute or two later, boom. I'd heard about five booms before my ship went on the pad. And I ran out there just in time to see him hit my ship and move it back up and hit it again ram it again and you know it went tumbling he never did destroy it but it went tumbling off so i ended up going back in and i waited and noticed you know people coming and going and i waited till about three of them were there and spawned their ships and then spawned mine and got out and, and videoed it and made a claim I mean, there's a lot of things that they're, they don't, you know, they're, they're not going to do much for for anything that might even be considered PvP. If, you, if you're outside the, you know, the armistice zone, you're bad luck. But something like that, I mean, I have him literally ramming, backing up, and ramming again two different ships within a five minute period on video and that's what I sent him. Uh, it's a less than a five minute video and he intentionally and deliberately rammed two ships on the pad in, in the armistice zone. I mean that's just griefing, plain and simple. So and that they don't they don't want. I'm pretty sure. That that's not a good experience for anybody. I say he he kind of had I won't say he had it locked down I mean I got out but yeah he he almost a couple of people with that strategy could lock down Port Allister they could prevent people from leaving So yeah, that that was a bad deal. Not sure why anybody would want to do that. I mean, you know, it took me almost an hour to get out of out of there, and then somebody's gonna trollishly blow you up for no, you know, just for the hell of it. You know, if they do that on my way into Crusader, I'm screwed. I'm back there in the mousetrap again. <laughs> so. Hopefully I'll make it to Port Olisera without running into anybody that I can't outrun or get away from. <laughs>
Uh, sorry. Yeah, no idea what to do. Are you in game? You mean in game or just? I'm like this. Having to use this ship may have screwed me. I just mounted some weapons on my freelancer to try out. Now I, I guess I need to un unequip them so I can reclaim it. Not playing anything. Yeah. I guess Star Citizen can can get played out. I mean, there's not a ton of content in it. I haven't had too much trouble having fun, just trying different shit. Still learning, I guess. I keep looking at the the long dark it's a like a survival game but I've, I've yet i mean i i have it in my library in my steam but i haven't played it i've heard it's it's a hard survival and i'm not that much i mean i survival's okay but i like the open world exploration more than i do the survival so Take a day and a half to spool up with the settings so low, but oh well. The 600i doesn't seem to be interested in us. So. Yeah, I keep starting other games and I keep coming back into this one just to piddle and do nothing. So. Get in that's an armistice zone. There we are. The icon stays on, but Give me just a second. I can throw you a link of of that it has all the personal and and ship weapons where they're where they're at. Uh, let me get landed here. But I'm betting, <laughs> and this is why I landed in Arcorp. I'm betting at Arcorp. Now you may be able to find uh, some in, in Lorville, but. Complete. Have a pleasant stay. Weapon systems offline. Uh, well, actually, you have uh, it's it's in uh, 
It's in the drop box, but here I'll grab it for you. That's a great list for uh, finding whatever guns or whatever for you or your ship. Uh, sure. I just managed to to base out a PO, so <laughs> I'm where you might be able to get to and get away, <laughs> and vice versa. Uh, I want to. I want. Well, uh, the scorpions. There, I, I don't know what you mean by scatter guns. The the scatter ones are uh, shield weapons. Those are the ones. I think the scatter gun kind of things are, are the ones that take out the shields, aren't they? Uh, the scorpions are called Gatling guns. So I think that's what you're. I think that's more what you're looking for. Oh, on the bottom of the page. Uh, let me let me see here on the bottom of that page. Ship weapons. All right there. Infantry weapons, ship weapons. There's, here's your scatter guns. That's the one you're looking for. Yeah, here's your M series, Omni Skies, all those. But yeah, it's down here at the bottom. By default, that, that link will bring you to the yeah to the sidearms. That's what I say. So yeah, and that that link is in my uh, in the Dropbox on on the uh, Discord if if you. I'm not that good with all the different weapons, so I can't, I, I, I don't, yeah, I'm, it, it, that's, I'm not sure what, what's what in there, uh, let's see, yeah, and the, okay, here, here's, here's one for you, it's read only, which means I can't pull the guns that I put on it off of it. Nor can I spawn it anywhere but Area 18. I'm screwed. <laughs> I gotta take a quick bio break. I guess I might have to go to the hangar and un undo those weapons. Either that or lose them, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, just a second. <laughs> Let me take a bio break.
wrong way. Uh, see, okay, so you're here now. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Uh, are you, do I need to uh, fix my uh, freelancer first? or uh, Where am I? I'm going to the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're trying to get the guns. Do I need to, uh... I mean, wait, wait, you want me to, uh, go against you in something? How you want me to help you, uh, try, ha test your, uh, warden? <coughs> I mean, I'll be happy to, happy to work it any way you want. Well, that's what I'm saying. Before I claim my uh, freelancer, if that's what you're wanting to shoot at, I need to go to the hangar, or I can use the Titan. Oh, well, I have, uh, I also have, let's see, what do I have? I also have a Hornet, which I have, n I've never even flown. <laughs> That'll work, okay. Yeah. In that case, uh, where is that? I can I can head to Levski. Uh, B O B one B one B one. Yeah. Right. Tara Corp. <laughs> Uh oh, I hear a crash. I hear an explosion. We probably got somebody grieving again. My luck. Uh, why are we going dark court? Yeah, if I had to Arc Corp, the only reason I'd do that is to do missions and I want my other ship. So, before I do that, I'll, I'm gonna have to go to the hangar. Twenty K. yeah, for a size five, yeah. I that's kinda one of the reasons it took me so long to do the to buy those silly scatter guns I didn't even need. I got there thinking they were cheaper than they were. <laughs> They're only size twos. <laughs> I didn't have enough money, I had to turn right around. <laughs> Go do one mission. I was like 4K short of having enough. Oh man! Now, now I got it all tweaked way down.
And I don't know if that price is right. That may be the price where I, uh, let's see, if you're lo using that uh, that sheet. Let me see if that's the one I looked this up on. Yeah, these prices aren't, aren't necessarily right. Yeah, this is the one that shows the Scorpion as being 4750, but it's not 4750. It's 9420. So let's hope. Uh, so let's hope it's not more than that. This is why it'd probably be smarter <laughs> to test these in PTE. It's Dumpster Depot, isn't it? I think so. I think it's Dumpster Depot. Uh, it's upstairs where the halves are. The the center have what have door doesn't have a door. And that and you go down that that alley thing, and that's where the that's where it's at. I, I'm pretty sure. I won't swear to it, but I'm pretty sure. See, I bet I can get this down in the alleyway. He lost. Yeah, I, I may be remembering it wrong anyway, but it, it should be in the Grand Barter upstairs, and I think it's the doorway, like in between the half side of the upstairs and the Barter. Oh, that's weird. Weird non pop in stuff going on here.
That guy there is always standing there looking at the wall working on his tablet. They really need like an access panel or something open in front of him so it looks like he's doing something. Uh oh. Why am I not... Uh, this is not good. I'm now stuck in an elevator, man. I got no uh, action button on the... Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck in the elevator from the lobby down to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's screwy. I just don't have a. I can't get out to hit, to go to the other something's. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, it's be the elevator on the right side. The lobby elevator on the, the closest to the to the customs pass through I'll just hit them both <laughs> I'm moving thank you yay <laughs> that's pretty good stuck in an elevator See if we can find that. I'm not going to swear that's the right one anyway, but yeah. Which elevator you like? Matter to you? But yeah, I did notice the... Oh, you coming? Did you get in? I didn't see you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 down here in the uh, barter grand barter. I sent the elevator back up, but yeah, it's down here in the grand barter somewhere. I think it's on this top floor in the grand barter. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of, uh, of Grimhex, wasn't I? That's the uh, regular weapon store there. Those, they don't have, uh, no, no, it, it's got to be, uh, okay, I'm not sure where this one is either, man. I was thinking of Grimhex. This one over here, maybe? Like this is the tunnels. No, no, here's wait a minute. Somewhere back here is uh no, this is the tunnels, this isn't it. Yeah, here it is. All of the yellow signs there. Yeah. Uh oh, there's nothing in them for me. Hi. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. For me either, is it, there's nothing in the uh, on the shelves either. Hi, good to have you back. 
I don't see anything on the shelves either. Got a pretty good selection. Hi, welcome. Well, that's how I fixed it before was jump servers. So yeah, I, I, I bet that's what you you probably want to do. Uh, if you want, go ahead and uh, swap server regions or something, and I'll follow you in to wherever. Because that that's probably what you're going to have to do is is change the server region to force a different server. Otherwise, it'll just put you right back in this one, so long as it's viable. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and follow you out, because it'll take me longer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. That's not going to hurt anything, I guess. I just thought I didn't legit land here, so. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and back out to the menu and, and go ahead and, and force swap a server. I was I was on BEST, so I was probably on uh, US server, so if you want to use BEST or, or EU server or whatever, that's that's fine. I'll just join into you. Come on. Oh, that's loud. I wonder it's loud. Why can't I get joined in on you? No, it's just not, it's not clicking and letting me join the game. I see your name just not letting me enter that session even though it shows people you know room it's not letting me it, I'm clicking but it's not joining that server yeah all right go ahead and <coughs> see if you, you know you should be able to find it now at least we know where it's at I'm, I'm gonna restart it again and see if I can get it. I think it's the launcher just being finicky. Yeah, you, if you want, you probably just head back to PO because unfortunately, uh, or or anywhere else you want to test because I, I didn't legit land. I didn't think about that when I backed out to the menu. I didn't actually legit land at uh, So I'm going to respawn it. Dang. 
Yeah, those size 5 guns, you're going to start getting expensive with those. All right, cool. Cause that's that's where I'll log in at. I forgot to legit land at Levski anyway. So, if I ever log in. <laughs> Hands got cold. <laughs> Hold my coffee cup. this point I might should have just stayed there and let you swapped and swapped back probably would have been faster than me come and <laughs> me reload <laughs> now I need to see if I can squeeze enough for a hard drive <laughs> I'm getting there <laughs> yeah I know it. I, I need to try and squeeze out enough for a hard drive I've got a cheap one tagged at Amazon I can probably afford. It's not the one I want, but I'd love to have the MVME. But uh Any any I could afford would be too too small. I don't want to put a you know a motherboard in VME unless I can get a fair size one. But yeah, now your server is full. How do I know that? I knew that was going to be a problem. Darn it. Now oh, your server's full. I can't get in. Uh, Yeah, I'm on Discord. I'm on, in mine. I wasn't earlier, I got on, I jumped in there just a minute ago.
Hello. Hey, hey. No, oh, it just finished line, uh, going back to port. Ah, your server, it, your server is full. Refreshing. Go back all the way. You need to go back all the way to the menu to refresh the player. Uh, okay. Yes. That's full. It was. It wasn't, but it wouldn't let me in. I guess it filled up before it refreshed. If you want, you can try joining another game, and I'll join on you as soon as I land. All right. Well, uh, I see. I guess I can just. Uh... Or if you want, go ahead and go back out to the main menu. Uh, okay. Wait. And then, uh, then, then you should be. You should follow me on on team. I thought about that. I thought about swapping. Like I'm wondering if, if since you're in that server, I'm wondering if you could. You know, if we both both got out of the team, and then you sent me a team invite, if I could get into that server when it's full. But I don't think so. But let me know when you're in the menu, and I'll and you should be able to join in with me as a team, right? I'm currently landing on Port Alistair. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to go into Port Alistair, I'm sure. But I don't know if the team's still valid since, I, you know, the we both went out. I don't know. So it may not work. That you I know. need to learn uh, decoupled. So do I go back to the menu? Uh, well, if you want to try uh, inviting me to a party first, we might try that. I'm already in your party, so. Right. Well, exit my party and invite me to. Sorry. Well, no, 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 no. You joined the game. I'll join on you. Okay. Because I'm in your. Right, right. Easier. I'm at the menu. Alright. I barely have any money left. That's <laughs> point two. Those are, how much are they? 20k a pop? 21k. Jeez. Yeah, if you have a bigger ship that has bigger guns, it's going to be expensive. Now I need to try making that money back. Probably to bounty hunting. Well, uh, I'm in the game. Same. I may have to kill myself to get it spawn in, but I'm here. Port Alliser isn't, but I am. <laughs> I can't do pain. I don't see a... Uh, oh. I'm gonna claim the ship. How do you repair? No. Uh, I just repair on the pads. I tried. It didn't work. I, I did, uh, it says it's not available every time. Yeah, I think that's another bug. You may be able to on this server. Have you tried? Because I think that's a server-related bug, too. I haven't tried yet. Claiming the city. Well, if you claim it, it shouldn't have any damage. Yep. It didn't have any damage, but less fuel. Yeah, they they save the fuel stuff, but yeah. Well, no, no. When it's yeah, when it's claimed, you should get few full fuel and everything. If you're just spawning it. It's different. I see in game.
You see me in game? Is that what you said? Yeah, I see your name and everything. Okay, cool. You popped up. Yeah, I just I, I just re respawned. Killed me. Yep, there you are. That poor dolly's here now. Yep. I can take you to our corp if you want to get the freelancer. Mm, I'll just I'll pop out to the uh to the deal later and worry about it. It's not I'm getting uh I mean unless you wanted to use it, you know, I can do that. Uh, well, no, because I'll be right back where I was this morning, spawning in the wrong spot. It's, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, 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 I think I, I, right, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I think I'll be better off here and just go into the thing and then reclaiming it, moving it, putting the guns back in it when it's here. Oh, you mean landing there? No, you don't have to land to take the guns out. We just need to be near our corp area 18. And you can use the F1 to remove the guns from the ship. And then claim it, not be your. Mm. No, you don't I... have to rebuy the gun. Well, that, I guess that, that would be cool. I mean, if you, you want to fly all the way there and back, that's... Yeah, we can, in a hammerhead, so we get there in a few minutes left. So you don't have to land either, is what you're saying? No. So I'm going to try the scatter gun first, attach it to the ship. Oh, okay, you want me to spawn the Titan? If you can. Yeah. Like, second try. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. <laughs> that, that thing looks insane on the warden. The, the gun is giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nose gun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to compensate for something? <laughs> Can't wait for the rework soon. That's gonna be insane. Yeah, that's coming up. That'll be cool. We returned the tank tracks and everything. The warden has tank tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess to me they're they're better than wheels because wheels don't really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I guess they do for small ships so you can roll them around on the pad. But tank tracks you can move the ship around any any ground if you need. Easier to land. Yeah. Oh my God, that thing is massive. You'll see, it looks insane, actually. I'm, I'm next to you. Ward, so I, so I just need to get outside? You know I'm shooting back, right? <laughs> Just go outside and I'll follow. Alright, well, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I just started going out. Uh, no, you're not. Go straight. Yeah, I, 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 I was going kind of across it. I could have gone a different route, got there, but. Uh oh. Where did I destroy your engine? You can't suck. Huh? I don't have any damage yet. 
Your engine look. I don't see any damage to uh, here, but maybe I do. Unless I'm bugged, limit here. Wait, I'm. Alright, I'm stopped. This thing is not hitting anything. Alright, here. That's like a, a, an electric. That's not the right spot. I, I think those. Are you sure those aren't ones? Some of them do more damage to shields and and whatever, but those don't seem to be doing much of nothing. <laughs> I think maybe yeah something. Cause yeah, that that don't seem to be doing much anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, now my front guns shields went down. Yeah, that's the worst thing in bullets. Oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to buy the subgun. Yeah, that's why I, I. It's that's it's hard to hard to know what the heck you want. You know, there's so many different kinds. It's hard to know what. That. It's a good thing it's alpha. And you, you can always think of that. Think of it that way, right? That yeah, it's you're you're broke for a little while, but in the long run, it doesn't matter, right? It's kind of like those guns that are on that freelancer. I, probably a waste of money. I mean, well, I know they were. They didn't even fit. <laughs> so they're definitely a waste of money. <laughs> At least the ones you bought did fit the ship you bought them for. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But they're quite bad. I think it only destroys the seal. Yeah, you might could leave them as your secondaries and have a have a big. Uh... It actually might be good against big ships, though. Yeah, yeah, you need you need all the pound on all three guns to to take on the bigger ships. That's exactly it. God, the way, same. Somebody was telling me that on my freelancer. Well, you could put, uh, you know. Like the scatter gun, I think it is that takes out shields and then put, you know, a different weapon on your on a second set. And I'm like, yeah, but that lowers, you know, it, it lowers your total damage on your on your main guns, you know. I'm gonna remove the gun from. Oh, Can't seem to remove the gun now. That's what I was telling you. That's why I don't think going there is gonna help. Yeah, you can't do even remove the gun after you put. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I've run into that before. It's like it's locked, even though it's just stored, and it shouldn't be. You know, it should only. It should only be locked if it's destroyed or stored somewhere else, right? You know, that's what I thought. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think going there is, is going to help. I think I'm going to have to actually go into the same as you. You're probably going to have to go in there and remove them if you want to save them. Go into your uh, hangar. 
probably. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, don't know. <laughs> I guess we just go back to what we normally do. <laughs> Since I think we both probably spit money. Well, I guess I can go to the hangar and get those other guns. Uh, how the hell we could... You want to take your turn or... Or do... I could go do something else. Uh, what, is, what can we do that... Um, take a couple of people to do. I don't think either of us have enough money to do any cargo stuff. I have... I, I, I've... If I determine my luck with that is terrible anyway. Not gonna try any cargo now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the new patch and then I might try cargo. So hell, I guess I might as well uh, land and uh, get my guns. See if I can't move my ship here somehow. It's gonna take a minute. I'm gonna have to. Go into the hangar. I'm also waiting for the live stream today. Waiting for what today? Live stream. Star Citizen is doing. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a live stream today. Oh, cool. I wasn't even aware of that. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Shields offline. Oh, heck, what? You don't happen to know when that might be, do you? What you need for that, uh, Warden, are those big M7s. Then we could try and take out that hammerhead. <laughs> I'm thinking those are 40 or 50k a piece, though. I can spawn the... I can give you the hammer. It's zero zero. No, I, I, I mean for your, uh... I meant for your, uh... Uh, Warden. But yeah, they're, they're 61,000 apiece. Of course, I guess you, you only need one of those. That uh, heaviest hitting weapon in the game, the uh, M7A, I guess. What size does that... He, he was only... Uh, Uh, nerd right, that's your nose gun. So you only need one of those? Yep. Yeah, that's 61k. Nope, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna have it now. Not gonna have it now, that's for sure, right? That, that might have to be a test for a, for a PTU. <laughs> Isn't the PTU still going, though? No, no, I mean, the next PTU, we can test out those. <laughs> but that's what uh, I, I've seen, like, a uh, nerd take down a uh, a hammerhead with, with, with that gun, with that gun on, on the front of his... Uh, the shotgun scatter gun, take out anything, if you're really close to it. 
It goes through sealed. Oh, is that that the one that hits through the shields? Yep. Yeah, but I don't know if it ever do it on the. Uh, we we actually uh, I would I was actually in a turret, and I I don't remember he had Omni Skies or M sevens on it, one or the other. Oh, and M7. and they had turrets. They had like two or three turrets, man, and. We ended up, they they made the mistake of just landing. They figured they were completely invulnerable, that we wouldn't be able to take their shields out. And, well, whichever ones he had on there had better range, and we, we ended up just sitting just outside of their range and pinging them <laughs> with, like, three guns, you know, three guns at a time. Or, no, I was in the turret, I guess, of the uh, warden. And we were sitting there just pinging the hell out of them. Finally, by the time they realized they were in trouble, they took off, and it was too late. <laughs> but yeah, it and took... What guns does the turret have? Can you replace the guns on it? I, I you Yeah, as far as I know, you can replace the guns on anything. It just They're usually a size smaller or whatever than your main gun. But... Size 2, sawbuck. Oh, you can, huh? Oh, I didn't know that one. Yeah, you can replace most all of the turret guns. You just, you know, you got to find the right size. And I think I'm gonna jump out and grab those guns. So I'm gonna run to. Uh, oh, which gun? I, I'm gonna go out to the hangar and pull those guns off that freelancer. You do that. As far as I know, you used to be able to. You could you could put it in your hangar. And uh, let's see, that's the arrow view. And and retrieve the guns off of it. And that would it carries over. That's what it used to. I don't know. I'm fixing to find out. <laughs> I'll be able to tell you in just a minute. <laughs> Tell me if it works. I'll, I'll just put a lot of guns on the hammerhead. I have a lot of guns I can use on the hangar. Oh, that's something. Yeah, especially those hammerhead guns. They're 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 an expensive, expensive one too, right? Uh, attached. Let's see. Did that do it? Did I do that right? I haven't used it in so long. Maybe this one. I gotta figure out how to spawn the damn thing in here. Do I even need to spawn it? I don't. Yeah, I'm not even sure where these <laughs> mantis I put on there came from. So yeah, I didn't even spawn it in my hangar. All I did was get in my hangar and use my uh, Moby. If it'll save. A lot of Aurora players are new people. Yeah, yeah, there's probably quite a few new players around. Fly, free fly, you know, there's probably a 
the yeah. free play should have ended. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did, yeah, it, it did end. But everybody is now buying into the game again with starters. And everybody is complaining that their legs are down. Aurora. <laughs> Every time you step out of your Aurora, your legs break and die. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't that take? There we go. Wow, something's really weird. Okay. I got it to save with only one tarantula on it, but let's see if that worked. <laughs> it didn't work right, but it kind of worked. <laughs> I think if it did, from what I understand, it. Uh... Ah, shit. Gonna try spawning some new people so they can try. I wouldn't care about losing the guns other than I haven't tried them yet. Yeah, I tried them. They're bad. <laughs> they <were> bad. <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> 20k. Zero damage. <laughs> Only sealed damage. So. Yeah, that wasn't a big ship. Hey, that, that, that Lancer's the one that, you know, it's the one that has some Some defensive shielding, boy. That's why I like it. <laughs> Alright, I guess, uh, let me see. Freelancer is still locked here, but let's see what kind of weapon. Okay, it does save from the hangar to here. And you don't even really? have. And you don't even have to spawn it in the hangar. All you got to do is open your Moby glass. Oh no, that, oh my god, that works. Ooh. Oh. That's actually insane. I have a lot of guns in the hangar. Single, single hangar. That's a good little trick. If for for later, I don't know if they're gonna fix that. They may fix it. But now I can yeah. now now I can claim my uh, my freelancer and and then put my guns back on it. You might keep that though. If that they keep that, that's gonna be cool. Maybe once they add the hangers into the U public universe, they're gonna use that. Well, that would be cool. Uh, they said they were going to do that. Because I, I know it used to work even if your ship was destroyed. So that I'm sure they'll get rid of that because that would be an exploit, right? But it'd be nice if they allowed you to do that to get it if it was just somewhere else. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm going to give him a 6 die. There you go. You play the driving in 600 times. How does, how does this work? Yeah, it's what happens is they get all their, their purchases after the free flight. You know, nobody buys it during 
actually during free, free fly because they can play for free <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's the day or two after that you get all the you know that's that's when you see the people in the auroras because now they got to buy the game and there's so many of them <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah i noticed that there were a ton of them things out there I keep giving them like 600 eyes and hammerheads, and then I see like 10 of them. Gag up on like you. <laughs> what you got for me? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I got attacked by five Mustangs and an Aurora once. It was insane. They couldn't get through the fields, I was just staring at them, and they were shooting. Ballistics. I get, here's the ones I guess I want to try. I'm not even sure where I got these. These Mantis G22s. I think they might be, come off of the uh, Hornet. <laughs> but now I can spawn that puppy. Well, in a minute I can spawn that puppy with these... Uh, Gatling guns. Since I bought the other Gatling guns that don't fit and then realized I had some I could have tried without it. <laughs> Just blowing money. I love watching new players. Everything's new and fresh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like going to a zoo or something with a with a young kid. It's you know. Perspective is Your ship has been delivered to the You know, awe and, and you know, wonder about things that we kinda take for granted at this point. He's gonna fly a six hundred time for the first time. He <laughs> did you ask him if he knew how to fly? If he had a license? <laughs> well, I seen him crash into Port Oliver with uh road <laughs> before he died. I hope you got full coverage on that thing, loaning it out to noobs. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to watch them fly the big. You and then you all of a sudden you hear a big bang on the. Oh, <laughs> I take a look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, those look wicked. Actually, the, what looked good was those uh, M7s I put on at one time. Matter of fact, I still have them, I think. Big old cannons. Are y'all still here? Where? Oh, I found him. He's 
is used to small sieves that you can't walk around in quantum travel order. Driving around. <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna head over toward Hurston and try out these gats. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I flew a couple of big ships. It, it took a while, and, you know, I might have had a little bit of a head start because I've flown or driven boats, and, you know, large and small, and, and the difference is a lot the same. You know, you, you kind of have to think ahead and, and move and make your moves ahead of time. You know, the bigger a yeah. boat is, the sooner you got to start turns, and the sooner you got to start slowing down, things like that. So there's some similarity to it, which is actually where my captain part of my name came from. Is is that was actually a licensed captain for like a year and a half. using tugboats. Oh, my camera's not off, but I'm going to take a break and <laughs> grab some coffee real quick. Then I'll turn my camera back on if I can remember. <laughs> Coffee's like beer after after the first couple it's one in one out kind of scenario. Should have at least shot them off once. Uh, see if they're as fast as those scorpions. <laughs> those things are wild fast. Yeah, they are. They must have titanium bar barrels, because otherwise th those things would warp. <laughs> Overheat in a second. <laughs> yeah, it twists the barrels. I, I know I did that to a little 22 once. We found filed the uh, catch down so that it it was a full automatic 22. <laughs> Stupid stuff you do as a kid, right? And, but I mean, unlike a regular fully automatic weapon. It didn't matter. Once you pulled the trigger, all every round in the tube magazine was gonna fire until it's till it ran out. It, it didn't stop when you let go of the trigger. It just fired till it ran out of ammo. But yeah, about about six clips worth of you know of that. And of course, we had speed loaders and everything for the tube magazine. Yeah, about six of those in a row, and and it started hitting off and we're like I mean way off you know I'm like what's going on and happened to lay the rifle down and I looked down and the barrel was literally corkscrewed you yeah. could 
you could see it. It, it took us about 30 minutes to ruin that 22. So many new players. How how the server is new actually, from the looks of it. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, when everybody that's... seems to be staring at the 600. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty ship. That that is an eye catcher, yeah. is it? You know that's. Uh, yeah, but just wait until 2.6. <laughs> the 890 jump is gonna destroy Port Allet. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger yeah. than one. Strat. <laughs> yeah, that that's gonna be something. I I'm I'm kind of excited just to see it. Not not. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm yeah. I'm thinking you... of getting one once it releases. There's probably gonna be a sale. I'm thinking of getting one. If I man manage to do it in time. Oh, that's, that's gonna that's be a cool ship. I say it's way out of my league, so I'm, you know I'm, I'm still kind of excited to see it, just because that's that's gonna be. I mean, that'll it has be... a pool, pool bigger than the Aurora almost. Jeez. Twenty-five meter long pool. Hot, uh, hot. It has a spa, I don't know what else, giant living areas and everything, a lot of rooms everywhere, hangar for a razor or some smaller ships. Jeez. Yeah, yeah I'd love to have cool. one, but that's way out of my league and not anything I really need. <laughs> it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a giant ship, 200 meters. You probably won't be able to spawn it at Port Olist or any only Lorville or Arco, I'm guessing. That's outrageous. Lorville or Arco and figure an hour and a half to get it out of the atmosphere and well, I guess they fixed some of that. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's only 30 minutes or so now. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if you had to get it to 100,000 meters? Hour and a half later. <laughs> get her moving at about 20 degrees and go take lunch. <laughs> Just how big engines probably won't be that small. Yeah, but I bet it's still. I mean, look how slow the like the Starfire it's, it's is. It's gonna be the Starfire is smaller than the Reclaim, and the Reclaimer is super slow. Yeah, so yeah. This thing is gonna be bigger than the Reclaimer. So fifty meter. So yeah, it, it's not gonna be fast coming out of atmosphere. I don't think. No, probably not. At least you can come on quantum travel now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. At least they kind of fixed that with the distances on the atmosphere thing, so that's cool. So can I find a job yet? Get a job. All right. No oh, way. Bounty hunters. Yeah. Give me one that's limited threat. Oh yeah, let's do a limited threat. That's what I want. So small ones, right? No one. To try these Gatlings. <laughs> oh yeah, they're they're just about as fast as the uh, Scorpions. This might be pretty good for these for those Buccaneers and Cuddies. And get rid of that near restricted area. That's wild, that pops up when you just, uh, anytime you quantum toward Arc Corp, you get that, even though I didn't even go into atmosphere or in, into the area. Oh, give me a location, there it is. Good. So far, so good.
these are what I would call spray and pray kind of weapons. <laughs> I don't even have to quantum from here. When is the other update coming? 2.6, is it June? Uh, well, it'll be at the end of the sixth month. They only have one month left there, then didn't do anything. Yeah, June's June, end of June. They're still doing 3.5. Oh my. Yeah, they uh, I, <laughs> they're way behind on three on three six, but yeah, well, they got. They're uh, gonna postpone the Karak again. I'm gonna go rage with. That's that's unfair. Uh, They're not gonna make it yet. Right. Done I don't think so. I've looked at the. Uh, it, who knows? But I, I'm like you. I, it seems doubtful to me too. As you, you look yeah. on the on the. The road map. jump only twenty nine out of hundred and thirty chances. Okay, you're looking at what I was fixing to talk about. It. Yeah, you look at how much they, how many how many of what they have done and yeah it looks doubtful that they're they, gonna be they able to haven't even started doing the Archimedes or the new flight so yeah item. I'm betting something's gonna get pushed back defender again he made the jump poor tech nothing else be completed even the new seals are not done Gameplay. Nothing complete. Oh, except player jump V2, that's done. That'll be cool, but they're gonna have a lot Long of. Long system. Not far. They're gonna have a lot of disappointed people if they don't get those ships out. Yeah, they still have yet to release 3.5 fully. Oh yeah, yeah we, and, and guess what we're behind on is the ships. Yep, the 300 times series. Yeah. So yeah, that kind of doesn't really bode well for 3.6 getting here on time, or at least not. 3.8 as well, because everything is going to be like... Or right, certainly at least not complete. You know, with the features that they have, anyway. Uh, I hate this one. Only time I've ever even taken damage on these things was this one here, where you're right between these big old rocks. I hit a rock. <laughs> that was my damage. What do we got here? We got Cutty Black. That's a good one to try these on. Targets a bug in here, so yeah, we're good. Guess we'll find out how good these are for me. I tried them once before and just just couldn't hit enough in succession to, to do enough damage. I was better off with the other ones.
really seeing that much better, but these bucks are hard to hit, so give it a minute. Carpa doesn't work at the moment. Please. It's too hard for me to hold the target that long. I guess that's where you need the uh, assist, isn't it? That's the only way you can do it is with the assisted. That's where these these come in handy. Oh. And this big old shit just isn't the greatest one for the assisted. That's it. that's where these come in. Yep. Maybe what I need to do is just go to assisted and see if I can't do better. Because I seem to be able to take them out pretty easy if I go to assisted. Jump also has a forest inside trees and everything. Yeah, this isn't bad once you go to assisted. Might have to try it on a bigger ship though. Let's see. I wonder I what. I use assistance on Warden, it's insane. The minigun on the Warden just destroys ships. It goes through sealed. Curious. What kind of ammo these things have? Ah, uh, plenty. Yeah, I, I've been using gimbal, but that the assisted sure did did do the trick with these uh, gatlings. This is just stuff I need to you know I need to figure out and practice because I haven't really done as much as I should have. What's up, fellas? Hello, hello. Hey, Region, how are you today? Ah, I'm off call and I'm off work. Hey. Sun break. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. I'm trying some Gatling guns on my freelancer just because. Okay. And I figured out how to use the assisted gimbal as opposed to the reg full gimbal, so that do you like that? Well, with these gats, they're they're the way to go. I mean, you know, it's yeah. And so I, I don't know about the other guns. I, you know, in other words, I I may like it better with these gats and the assisted. 
I can take the bucks down pretty good with him. The buccaneers. I don't have any problem hitting those with, with this setup. So Yeah, I almost I have to use that assistant gimbal almost every time I fight a buck just because it's so ri- ridiculous. Well right now fixed is kinda screwed from what I understand, so yeah, I think everybody's using assisted as far as this goes, but now I'm gonna try a bigger ship and see how these uh Gatlings do on on a bigger ship because that's kind of my you know that, that's great that I can take out bucks with them but I got to be able to take out smaller ships too if I want right So if they'll do that, then heck, I might might have to use them. I think I'm stealing. I'm not sure where these came from. I went and bought uh, some that I saw another, you know, a streamer using. Uh, that seemed like they were doing some pretty good damage for for these kind of guns. I think they're the uh, I think they're the fastest way to kill things in the game at the moment. They are. Uh, the only drawback is it's ammo. You know, you gotta go reload and stuff. Yeah. That's the only draw. Well, this ship probably isn't the greatest one for for fixed. You know, th this ship is kind of one of the ones that the gimbal should be a benefit because it's not that fast. But. Are you in the Lancer? Yeah. But even without being that fast. I can track enough to keep them in that gimbal area, so, in that assist area. So. Assist is quite good. Working. Seems a bit broken. Aiming. Uh, this is just, you know, I do need to kind of try out different stuff and at least know what it is. So. Can't make, I understand. Can't make a an informed decision without knowing both both your choices or all your choices. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, well, I've I've yet been able to really do much with the gas. So now that I'm learning a bit more about how to how to use the different modes, that'll. You're still on Hurston. I'm in the Hurston area. Yeah, I'm still. Based out of PO, but yeah. I'll tell you what they're really nice for is taking out turrets. Because you can just hold the trigger down and, like, just kind of just shoot around the turret. <laughs> Something's going to hit the turret. Just buzz it to death. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like a A10, you know. I love the sound. I mean, it's actually a really cool sound. I don't know where these. Oh, I was saying that I don't know where these Gatlings that I'm using came from. They're ballistics. Uh, I think they came off the Hornet. Because I went and bought some some Scorpions, but they won't fit on the Freelancer, so I wasted my money well, there. They're probably too small, aren't they? Yeah. I think well, the the uh, Mantis. So it goes on the freelance. Uh, yeah, well, I th kind of figured, you know, size three should hold a size two or size one, right? But, <laughs> I agree. I uh, agree. No, I figured agree. that out the hard way. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense they don't, I guess. That's fine. I just didn't realize that until after I bought the guns. <laughs> one of those I, I should have asked. I did the same thing. <laughs> I did the same thing the other day with... Uh, what was I doing? I don't know. I can't remember what it was, but I did the same thing the other day and found out the hard way. I just did that day earlier. Bought two guns that did nothing. <laughs> Rent the cage. I mean, you would think if if I want to put a size one gun on a size five hard point, I should be able to. If that's my choice. You well, know. I mean, that's normal game, okay, right? You know, it's, it's up to that size kind of thing, but... Yeah, I agree. Not like it's... I, mean, I guess it makes sense if you want to do it that way. I just didn't know, so... 
Kinda of surprised what, what, me. What tips do you have? And me? Uh, vision. Vision? Uh, he's probably a uh, Oh yeah, I mean I've got a bunch of ships. I don't know. All kinds of ships. Any capital ships? Huh? Any capital Hang on, I gotta turn you up. I gotta turn you up. Yeah, Antonio, you are kind of, kind of low volume, but is it better now? Or... Yeah, I, I hear you now. Uh, repeat the question, please. Do you have any capital ships by any chance? I do. I do. I have two capital ships. Two. Of them. I have a Pol oh. I have a Polaris and a Hull E. And. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Polaris, a Holly, two 600 I explorers. Got uh, all the freelancers. Got uh, got a Banu Merchantman. I got a Banu Defender. I'm looking at got getting a... the 890 jump now. When they release it, just probably gonna be a sale. Yeah, I don't know that it's something. It's never been something that just captured my attention, so I'll probably just bum rides on my friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, it it doesn't have any pilot controlled guns, so eh, eh, I probably won't do it. I say that until I see one. As soon as I see one, I'm sure I'm going to walk. Yeah, that's me. I don't need any more ships. Then you see one in game, like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. That's, that's what happens to me every time as well. Yeah, I like I that. Bought some, I bought a lot of ships so far. The Karak, the Bart, and the Bottom Merchantman. Yeah, I, I forgot. I actually I have a Carrick also. Uh, yeah, which... don't, never, never. Know. That's a good one. Hopefully. I hope so. I've got a Carrick. I've got a Phoenix, an Andromeda. Uh, do you need the Phoenix? Why do I need the Phoenix? Yeah. Well, I bought the Phoenix on concept so years ago. Like years and years ago, and I thought it was going to be much more badass than what it seems to be. Like it's I supposed did. to, it's supposed to have like an automated gun on it, and everything that is not on it yet. So I don't know. I don't have any of that stuff. Well, they, might be to update it or well they, they, they've said they've. I, I I'm not even going to try to pull the interview up, but I've I've heard the guy say that the point defense turret is still going to be a thing. They just don't have it in game yet I don't know that I don't know how it's gonna matter though like right now my favorite ships to fly are the 600 dice yeah I have the touring one as well 600 dice at the moment I had the explorer one but I upgraded explorer is more expensive than the touring yeah but I kept the touring one just for the driving ground and the explorer mm -hmm. I upgraded into a different ship I got gotcha. you. Polaris. Hopefully, I can get the 890 jump this update, new update. If it doesn't run out in one second again, the clock. I don't. I don't think I've ever tried to buy a ship uh, that that is limited. Uh, All capitals are limited. Nah, the Polaris, the Polaris wasn't limited. Anybody can buy Polaris when it's on sale. Yeah, except the Polaris at the moment. Yeah. The the Hull E, I think they made it limited now, but it wasn't when I bought it. Anybody could have bought one if you just All swipe your card. Yeah, they're turning up the slime at that time. Okay. Well. I'll see. 
I don't know what to tell you. you know, you'll probably get beat up by some kind of bot, if I had to guess. Somebody uh, with a better ping than you. Uh oh, I must be out of ammo. Uh oh. The good thing, you, um, you can contact support and say that you missed it. If I, I, if I don't get it that way, I'll do contact support and say I missed it. I hope that works. It worked for... It worked when my friend started getting the issues. Really? Yeah. Well, that's nice. He contacted support, said that he missed the sale and they gave him for one week. And you can buy it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. There's like a a leftover space station in this debris field. That is cool when you find stuff like that. Oh yeah, destroyed these. Some kind of destroyed station looking parts sitting there. Truck stop destroyed. Yeah, that's, there's another piece. It's got three uh, rings. Or maybe two. That may be part of another ring or something. There. Some weird looking stuff. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, yeah. I, I'm, that's not bad. I can take out big or little ships with these pretty good that way. I may have to try it with the big guns now. And the, and the assist, because that's, that's a little different. I like the assist now that I kind of figured out how to use them. <laughs> there was Fusion that was trying to get me to do it before, and I just wasn't sure what they did. So. I guess I can uh, head back to PO. I'm just goofing around today, Friday, so. Next thing to maybe try is try it with my joystick and pedals. That's People kind of, said they work nicer than most of them. Well, the main it's reason I can quit using my joystick is because the gimbals just... I, I couldn't use the gimbal worth a darn. Just didn't seem to me to... I think that gimbal assist would be easier for you to use with the sticks than the mouse. I yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I th I think the assist, you know, the gimbal just with the joystick just didn't feel right. I couldn't do anything with it. But the gimbal assist that might that might work with the joystick. I don't know. I've gotten I've gotten okay, you know, feeling pretty comfortable with the uh with the uh mouse and keyboard at this point. I, I may just stick with that until a year or so when I get the dual sticks. That's what I'd like to try really. It kind of kind of irks me the the way the joystick it just doesn't work like it should. Not not irks me, but it, it's just pet peeve. Couldn't use the joystick the way it was when it was, you know. I can't go from like landing mode to full speed without using a key or a button anyway. So I 
tried setting the the curves and stuff on it to get it to work but then when you change the speed limiter it actually adjusts the curve it changes the curve on the on the controller you know, zero from zero to a hundred or the full throw of the the joystick is actually shortened to wherever that throttle limiter is which makes the curve stronger and stronger if you follow what I'm saying so it, it really kind of messes you up I've got one of those Connies doing the uh, the circle strafe at Mach 10. <laughs> yeah, I, I have figured if you just kind of fly away a little bit, sometime that'll get them out of that. I usually just back up until they get out of so it. So if I back up, they'll stop this? Well, once you get far enough back, they'll yeah, they'll quit circling you because you've moved. They'll, they'll have to move the circle, and that kind of changes their pattern for a bit. In other words, they, they'll start coming straight at you, whichever way you back up, they'll come at you and do, start doing the strafe run, which eventually goes into that strafe circle. <laughs> but the strafe run you, is where you can hit them. At least that's seems to be what works for me is backing up. We're gonna have to head that off for a bit. Alright Antonio, well, hey, I appreciate you coming and hanging out, keeping me company, that was cool. Sorry, yeah, um, sorry your gun test I'm not touched. Much. Your I'm gun constantly on work all summer. Yeah. Because I'm uh, on a ship, not home. That's me. I, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff coming up this spring. Work around the house and whatnot, but easier than being on a ship. On a ship? What are you talking yeah. about? I'm on a ship all summer and most of the winter. I'm currently on a ship as well. At this moment, right now? Yes. Okay. Are you using like satellite internet? No, we have we have normal internet because we are docked at the port. Oh, okay, okay. It's a private yard. Yeah. Awesome. That's I cool. Work on it, so. That's how I bought all my ships. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. I, I didn't know you were in the boating industry. I was actually in in quite a, in the boating. I grew up on a on a boat, as a matter of fact. Not that that yeah, has on a yard, forty meter yard. Ah, oh, nice. Well, these these were half that size. The one I grew up on. That that's about what I was uh, piloting when when I early early twenties. Uh, actually, I, I was I was only piloting a like 15 meter tugboat, but we were pulling yachts like yours in and out of harbors and and barges. That's when the the yacht didn't have any thrusters. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the, the work boats that size don't have the the maneuvering thrusters. Yeah. Nowadays, don't, you don't need to pull any yachts anymore yeah. because of the thrusters they have. Yeah, yeah. They, a lot of your cruise ships have them too. But uh, well, I didn't work with the big stuff that often. But but that's like barges and stuff. That's what they you know they they'd hook them up to a to a ocean liner, tow them across the ocean, and then our our tugboats would go out and hook up to them and take them into port. 
Oh, they they added a new thing on the bikes. It says how much cargo it can carry. It can carry 1.2 SEO cargo. Oh, well that's actually a bonus. I wonder if the point two is in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm being overly hopeful, aren't I? <laughs> that's not bad, actually. Quite cool. That would be neat, wouldn't it? I guess I overheated. Wasn't paying any attention. Drop the, li the manual link in the Discord. If you need the entire pursuer, I can download it and give it to you in Discord. If you can check it. I see what you mean. Can you see the link? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, they went down in price. That picture I added to my scenes. button called read read me or download you want to see the cargo and everything there's some more good pictures aren't there thank you I'll, I'll probably still be on your twitch through the phone all right no problem you know it's Did you get the lawnmower working? Uh, me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was working, just not, just needed to be. Tuned up. Where am I? Got, got what I'm doing. That should be the target there, isn't it? Nope, that's yellow. I haven't mowed the, well, I mowed the inside, the small part, or fenced in part. <laughs>
Actually, that's kind of cool that I figured out. I bought some weapons, and then I figured out I had some that'll work. That I can swipe, swipe, steal, whatever. Yeah, it is really nice whenever you figure out you have a ship with some guns that you like to use. Uh, I don't have very many to swipe from, so so that's not usually the case. <laughs> I'm just now. Oh, luckily. Yeah. yeah, luckily you have some of the, the best ones, probably. Just, just... Learning which ones I want, so it's hard, hard, to, hard to know, you know? Yeah. These are pretty good. I think they came off the, uh... I'm guessing they came off the, uh, Hornet, because I don't know what else would have size 3 guns. I mean, I only own it, this and all. Uh, the uh, Titan. I never pull up for it far enough here. Oh yeah, those I swiped off of something. Look pretty good on it too. <laughs> yeah, they do look good. I agree. Now she got the standard cannons. Yeah, that's the standard cannon. That's the fault, I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm just happy that it. Uh, I mean, I can take down a big ship with it pretty, pretty easy too, without assist. That kind of makes up for the one thing I couldn't do, and that's stay on target enough to... That's awesome, dude. Rooster Cogburn. Somebody's name in chat. So how many years did you drive tugboats? Uh, well, actually, driving them was only probably six months. I, I worked for the guy. Uh, you know, started out just as a deck monkey, deck hand, and uh, you know, worked for him for almost two years, a year and a half. And by the end of it, he had uh, gotten my piloting license and. Uh, you know, I was driving one of the small tugs. <coughs> so, with that job, you stay away from home quite a bit. But I've been told that they uh, they they feed you like a king. Is that is that all true? Uh, no, this was a uh, this this he did. If you had to actually travel anywhere, he paid your expenses and all that. But this was uh, just right out of a shipyard in Mobile Bay. And that's all we did was tow boats into the bay. Cause okay, it, okay. You know, the, the like I say, the big the big ships would come out and and stop outside the bay, and and we were pilot tugs. That's what we called. They were called pilot tugs, and then we would come in, and some of them it would be just two small ships, and we would kind of just help them. Mostly they'd power under their own power and get in there, but. You know, there were some areas in, in Mobile Bay, depending on where they were going, you'd have to make some really sharp turns and, and things to stay in the legal waterway. And that can be hard to do with a big ship. <laughs> you know, waves and everything else fighting you, current and everything. Uh, well, that's pretty good. I'm going to have to, uh-oh, what I do? Disconnect, 30k. I won't talk about it, you'll jinx me. I haven't had one today. Well, I'm betting you're not on my uh, 
on my server. How <laughs> you would know. Uh, this is full. Take this opportunity. Oh, wow, my camera's still not off from the last time. If I don't forget my mic, I forget my camera. <laughs> I think I have one more cup of coffee, so I'm going to go grab that. Yeah, piloting the tugs was actually a great, you know, fun job. And uh, just parents left, and I actually, you know, I was only 18. And I had the opportunity. I could have stayed. And uh, you know, I stayed there, moved to Alabama with my family, and I ended up moving, but... Okay, so I should be able to get that freelancer out with just retrieve, even though it's got the custom weapons, right? All right, ask me again. If you have custom weapons on a ship, you should be able to keep those so long as you don't claim, right? If all you have to do is retrieve it, you're fine, right? That is correct. That's what I was thinking. Cool. Now I just got to figure out what I want to do. I guess I ought to make up some of the money I lost. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that was a client. <laughs> Log into game. <laughs> A client crash that time. Starting to have, I wonder if I need to re-log or something. Shouldn't matter. Yeah, I had a mess of a time this morning trying to get up. Oh, excuse me, get out of uh, R Corp. I saw all of the bugs that I thought they had fixed. <laughs> I died from from a broken leg. I had the uh, messed up view. I guess you get from the uh, dying with your Moby glass open. <laughs> and. Of course, and I actually recorded this where my freelancer keeps spawning at the wrong place. Uh, recovery. I don't know why, but. But yeah, if I land it at Lorville or at uh, Arcorp, my freelancer always goes to the wrong spot. At our corp, it gets sucked back up before you could even begin to try and find it. At Lorville, you have to play hangar roulette until you find it. 
or spawn a different ship. Either one seems to work. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. So I actually recorded that uh, so I could send that in. That's good. Well, I, it's it's been go ongoing since this patch. I mean, I literally can't base in Lorville or Arcourt unless I want to use a different ship. So, you know, I've been wanting to do it, and this time I haven't actually think about it. I mean, I, you can... I, I did... You know, you can. I have submitted one or two where I didn't have the, uh, you know, I had to download my entire stream and then clip it and all that. But it's a lot easier if I can think about it ahead of time. I can just hit a record button and, you know, then stop recording when I'm done with that particular whatever. The advantage for that. My biggest advantage is I, I do have a, a limited data. So I've, I've got plenty of data, but I don't want to get crazy downloading 8 gig videos every day. What are you talking about? Like for your ISP, you have unlimited data? I have limited data. I have a set. Oh, list. okay, okay. Yeah. What, do they, what do they tell you? Your monthly limit is uh, for internet is uh why can't i refuel and all uh one terabyte is that reasonable to stay under that or do you have to watch what you're doing it, it's reasonable it, it, i have more than enough for for the average month uh even with streaming and you know whatever everything's more than reasonable the uh, only thing I'd have to I have to watch is is you know if I download a couple of big games you know that that can eat up a good chunk of data you know if I download a couple of 50 gig games then I then I have to kind of keep an eye on it and not get outrageous. Uh, I guess yeah try these bad boys one more time I got repaired but it still shows red I wonder if that's still a uh... a bug because it was a bug where you could repair and it wouldn't show Yeah, if I weren't streaming at all, we'd probably use about half of that on average. And with streaming, we use 75-80% of that on average. It's so like I said, it's, it's just like this month, uh, well, you know, it ends on the uh, 25th. So last month it was, I guess, with, with the PTU and everything, I kind of kept an eye on it, but that wasn't much. That wasn't enough to to push it up. So. Oh, it's not detrimental if we go over. They just they just charge us a little bit. We've never gone over, so. <laughs> Money-wise, I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't know what they charge for extra, but it's probably not real cheap. As with everything, internet costs are going up. I'll be right back. All right.
Oh, and I'm back. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, I really need to go mow the yard today, actually, but... <laughs> You can't let that neighbor see you out there. It probably won't happen today, but not not because I'm being lazy. Not that that's that's usually the issue, <laughs> but uh, we we had some rain last night and. I'm going to use that as an excuse. I mean, uh, it's still kind of wet. If I, do, if I can mow, it'll be later on. So we'll see. I might try and sharpen the blades up a little bit. They need it. But I got all the oils changed, the filters cleaned out, all that good stuff. Did Mitty come get you? Oh no, it wasn't me, it was somebody in, in chat. One of the new new players. He's running out of gas. guy flew off from Port Olliser and now he's now he can't get back he doesn't have enough gas he doesn't know how to fuel his ship <laughs> wait till he figures out knowing how may not help him <laughs> right <laughs> Try these things out one more time. I, I kind of like them. They, they, they may, I may have to do some practice with them. Uh, the limited threat, that'd be the little ones. Those are the ones that are harder for me to kill. Yeah, yeah they, this thing, they killed the uh, big ones easy enough. Let's try these little ones again. This goes as easy as the last time, then I'm, I'm sold. I'll be. I'll be changing up my whole combat strategy. Go from slow heavy hitters with gimbals to Gatling guns with gimbal assist. <laughs> Theoretically, the best thing would be able to know how to use all of it, whether whether that's what you end up using or not, right? You are correct. It's best to not have any limitations. 
Well, to not be limited by inexperience. Or, or know-how, which is... Regardless of how, which ones I choose, I still want to know how the others work, you know? Getting a discussion with, with somebody about this or that, at least you know what, what they're talking about. Well, and also if you start fighting someone and see what guns they're using, you know, you know what they have to do. Yeah, uh, exactly. Very, very good, good point. It, it could, it could affect how you, how you could defend against them, just knowing the way it works. Yeah, these with the gimbals, I just couldn't stay on that tiny pip enough to to get any damage, but with the gimbal assist, I can. I might have to try it with the heavier hitting guns later. That's what I that's what I'll do. Try it with those tarantulas? Yeah, with the gimbal assist and see how that works. Just a different Something different to try. Gotta be another uh, mark. Gotta be. Should only see one. Hmm, that's good. I just got an email saying that my union has decided to. Uh, go ahead and vote to accept our new contract. So, it's always positive. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. No strike. No strikes. Good deal. I was in, uh, well, it was my, right after the, uh, oh, there it finally popped up. I was in a pipe fitters union for a while, and, but there wasn't any kind of strike or even talk of it. You know, it was all on good terms. The two years I was in the apprenticeship there was, and right after that I, I got out of it. But, uh, yeah, they, you know, they, they'd send me those, uh, every three months but they were all just it, it, it was a formality they they renew their contracts every every three months or whatever like clockwork with no no debates Something that's kind of fun when you're using a mouse. It's good. The mouse I'm using has a kind of stiff cord, and sometimes when you let go of it, it'll move. Mm, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that with a joystick. You let it go, and it goes to center, even if you're flying all over the place, to, you know, when you let go of it.
which is actually why gimbal isn't bad because you can kind of see where your mouse is and put it dead center. Yeah, I kind of like the assist. That was that was the first time I guess I'd gotten it to work right and figured out how to make it work. Certainly, certainly did good. So this will be a better test now that I have the general mechanics down. One thing, it seems like if you aim at the dot or just behind it, like in between the, the pip and the ship, it hits for sure. But if you get ahead of the pip or outside up and down, it won't. It won't keep it in line with the ship even if you you know behind the pip it seems to hit with this assist which is a pretty good deal for me because with a slow ship I'm probably always going to be a little behind it <laughs> yeah I could see where this would be a bigger advantage if you had a nice small agile ship or any agile ship smaller or not I'm going to step away for a minute I'm going to make a radio call and see if I can get the scoop on the new contract see where it raises will be and stuff alrighty Sounds good. Hope hope you hope you get one. Might have gone too far, I did. It's definitely easier to hit those small targets.
Aberdeen. Time to get rid of that uh, restricted warning. Check my O2. Seems they fixed the uh, O2 at least. Not having that trouble today. Hope I don't run out of ammo. This is a bigger one, so it'll be a Connie or a Val Valkyrie. These Gatling guns don't last near as long as those ballistic cannons that are come on it.
kind of forgot to slow down. Definitely easier to, to, to do. Let's see what this Connie, how much ammo do I have left? Have to give it a shot, maybe. enough for another one. Somebody else is shooting at me, I think. Takes a minute to blow those up with these, but it works. I actually like flying with that better. Oh, that's pretty cool. I really want to uh, try and repair again. I think it. I don't. I don't think that's a previous damage, but.
I do. I want to look up and see what those guns are from. Stealing weapons off a ship. I'm not sure what what ship has it. <laughs> Almost have to be the. Uh, There it is, it's not working. There it goes. doesn't seem to do anything. No idea why. Now where'd the station go? <laughs> How do you lose this whole station? That is. Leave it up to me. I'll figure out how you can lose this station. No repair. So I have to think that I don't need it? No, because I, I just don't have any. Why not? Huh. I like to get some repairs and fuels, loose fuels. Try using auto land. In case I didn't have it just right on the pad or something, I don't know. Try anything. Go in here see if they've got some duct tape and bailing wire here in a minute. I'll fix it myself. As 
doesn't stay. I don't guess I can repair here or uh, refuel. That's weird. I wonder why. Okay. Well, shit, that's not gonna help me. I guess I can fly halfway across the forever and do it. Let's just try a different one. Can I get straight there? Yeah. Let's try that one. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that. I hope, uh, hope Antonio is not too right about the whole, uh, 3 6 being delayed, or good chunks of it. We are pretty much halfway through this quarter, and heck, they, they, 3 5 still isn't quite complete with. Some ship ship remakes not done. Quite a few quirks that need to be touched up on. But I guess that's continual, so that's not. Pilot seat and the ship exploded. Which booby trap, man? Somebody else not being able to buy fuel. I don't even know for sure there's there's a uh rest area here. And then we're out. Ah, 
just beginning to become quite a ordeal. Or five, I know that's a that's where I buy my guns. I could even buy a gun or two just make up for one or two I lost. That way if I still can't feel at least I have a uh, reason for going there. <laughs> I'll be right back. Bye, up right. Finally out of our corp hell. <laughs> it's good to be home. I'm finally at Porto. Porto. It's good to be home. <laughs> I know the feeling. I went through that this morning and yesterday at, at Lorville. That's ah, cold. Must be time for some juice. If I don't find fuel soon, I'm going to be running out. Same issue that guy does.
Yo, yo. Hey, hey. I'm looking for fuel that seems to be scarce. Uh, the landing pad's not cooperating. I tried two different uh, R&Rs. Well, actually, I tried one, then I went to, I guess, uh, R3 or whatever, R3, whichever one it is on the back side of Hurston. And as far as I can tell, there's no uh, station there. Not seeing one here. Yeah, there it is. But I know there's one here. I was hoping not to have to stop on a planet. But I think it's kind of like the, uh, uh, you know, the stores. Sometimes they're just not, nothing in the stores, and a lot of times you just change regions and, and it'll work. I'm wondering if that's what's going on here. I mean, it, it wasn't grayed out like it is sometimes. It was just uh, got an X on it. But it, I mean, it had an X on quantum fuel, and I need quantum fuel, so. Probably need the other side. Guess I better find out. Quit spinning around like I know where I'm going. Stay. Yeah. I can't buy anything. What are you, uh, are you still trying to fuel up? Yeah. I don't know. I've had really bad luck uh, on repairing. Normally, repairing is what I keep trying to do over there at the Hurston LaGrange points. And uh, it never works for me. I end up having to go back to Ollie to repair. It's annoying. Well, I need to 
need to repair and I need fuels, but I can't get any of it. Guess I head back toward Ollie and try it there. And if not, I'll have to. Yeah, I got the. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I can claim it anyway, can I? It's stolen guns. <laughs> I have to go blow up the other one so I can reclaim it to have the guns to steal off of. I'm not sure how that works. Actually, I probably uh, go ahead and call that a stream. I'm just gonna go land. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna head out for a little bit. Take it easy. Yeah, I appreciate you coming by and hanging out with me, man. I enjoyed it. I'm just goofing off today, so. Same as always, I guess. <laughs> Go check the yard. I might actually mow the yard this afternoon. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, man. Take care. And that goes for everybody that came by. Appreciate y'all coming by and hanging out. Hope to see you soon. Oh, that's what I need to do is check that video and, and file that, submit that uh, bug. I'll talk to you later, everyone. Have a good day.